shake roof's got uh, definitely has some life left in life into it. Uh, I would expect at least a few few more years out of it. Maybe more. I'd leave that up to a roofer to tell you. Uh, siding is in excellent condition. Uh, I found a few little spots, dry rot, but overall really good condition. Very well taken care of. Beautiful street. These are your neighbors directly across. You can see one's roof, one roof is replaced and they're about the same timeline as your roof. We come in. Okay. Oops. Okay, how many, how many minutes do you think? You've got a okay, that's fine. family room. Okay. And then to the fire. left is your living room. Both rooms have separate fireplaces. Mantle's been updated, tile. Does have recessed lighting. Ceilings have been refinished at some point. Big, beautiful dual pane windows over into the pool. And we circle around, piano. We go into the kitchen. Looks to be original, but in very good shape. Has oak floors, again, in very good shape. You do have a kitchen breakfast nook area to eat. A little prep sink. It is electric range, but I did see there is gas plumbed to the house, if that is a concern. Formal dining room. And that does open into the walkway that we just came in through the front door. Off the kitchen is the laundry room with a sink and lots of storage space, pantry. Go to this side and there's also some more storage cabinets. That goes out to your garage and carport and the laundry room. This is the fifth bedroom. This is on the opposite side of the rest of the bedrooms. Pretty large. I'd say it's got to be probably 20 by 12 at least. And it has beautiful view of the pool all the windows doors have been all updated dual pane out to the patio and then there is a full bathroom in here we'll make our way out of the family room or living room kitchen area into the family room and another fireplace. I believe those are, those are wood burning fireplaces. And I just mentioned right here, there's built in shelves here, and then there's also built in shelves there with front door and dining room to your right. Down your hallway, first bedroom to your right, probably 12 by 12. Your second guest bathroom, shower, and toilet. Everything looks good. Growl, everything's sealed nice and tight. Third bedroom. I'd say this is probably 12 by 12 by 10, maybe a little bit bigger. And it also has its own bathroom. Tub over shower. Lots of closet space, and there's actually another closet there. And this room, I'd probably say this is a 10 by 12. 
beautiful Pella um, uh, swing out windows closet and a little built in little built in there and then we are off to the master large walk-in closet a little built in there shelves and then two large sliding uh, sliding door closets access to your master I believe that's marble I want to call that marble I think uh, marble tile good sized tub I believe it's a jetted tub some sort of air tub got a little jets in there uh, shower and uh, bathroom very clean good shape back out and master bedroom very large glass sliding door go up here in the corner overlooking uh, and your master I would say it's uh, 15 by no, 15 by 15 somewhere around there 15 by 20 maybe yeah could be 15 by 20 we are stepping out on the patio you have uh, three or uh, three accesses uh, through the house to the patio uh, a bit of it's covered and they have uh, some really nice lighting actually in here a little succulents garden that is your master master door access that is the fifth room access and that goes into the living room kitchen area Let's see it's a little bit dark here pools in good condition some roses lots of beautiful trees there's a fountain and little grass area swing around to the back you've got a little cement with a, a shed and side of the house with a brand new fence